Welcome back. Okay, so this is kind of the last video on the series with regards to poker and combination. So I'm going to cover um, one pair and then also just a high card, which means these are kind of the last two items that I haven't covered uh, yet. So one pair meaning that if you get dealt uh, five cards, okay, so from a deck of 52, how many combinations are there of these um, one pairs that we can possibly obtain? So if you do have, you know, five cards, so there's here's your one pair, and then that means that your other uh, three cards um, don't create anything else for you. So, you know, we don't have, you know, maybe a, a three of a kind, um, or we don't have, you know, some kind of a straight or any of the other uh, possibilities that could happen. So how would we find the number of combinations here? So because we are uh, obtaining one pair, so I'm going to concentrate just on that one pair, you know, so how would we get that one pair? Well, um, how many different kinds are there? Well, there's 13 different kinds, right? So we can get a pair of twos, a pair of threes, a pair of fours, and so on, all the way up to the ace. So there's 13 possibilities there. Now, we're going to choose 13, choose one of them. Okay, so just to concentrate on one. And then once you do have that pair, um, of course, okay, so let's say if they were all twos, you know, you can rearrange them. So four choose uh, two because you have four twos or four threes and so on. And then we would simply just multiply these. So this right here just tells you that we have 13 kinds. And then this right here just tells you that we do have our pair. And those would be the combinations within here. So those are just for these two first cards. And because we have and the order doesn't really matter, okay, we also have these three cards that are still remaining, but they cannot create anything um, for us. As I said, so they can't create, you know, maybe a three of a kind or four of a kind or something like that. So in order to make that distinction, so these last three cards, they all have to be of a, of a different kind. Um, it doesn't matter what they are, but there's has to be three different kinds. Now we've already have and we picked one right here. So that means we only have 12 kinds remaining. So 12 choose three. All right, so those particular three are the three different kinds. So maybe if the pair is a twos, then the three could have been maybe a jack, queen, and a king or something like that. They don't have to be in order, but they could be any of those. And now for all of them, okay, so since we have three of them, so for all of these, you know, we're only picking one of those cards. So four choose one. Okay, so that would have been for this spot, and then four choose one for this spot, and then four choose one for this spot. So this right here, you know, if you created this little tree, so this four choose one would have been possible in terms of the combinations for all three of those spaces. So in total, what happens is we're gonna multiply all of this. So that means to obtain one pair, we would have 13 choose one, okay, on the beginning, four choose two, so that takes care of that pair, and then multiplied by, so whatever is remaining, we wanna have three different kinds of cards, and all of them, so this is gonna be four choose one, and this is gonna be cubed, okay, um, as so. And if you wanted to know now the probability, then you can take, because this just tells you how many different combinations you would get, of one pairs. Um, and if you want the probability, you can take this entire thing and of course divide it by 52 choose um, five because that's how many cards we're choosing from the total of 52. And on top we have how many pairs do we actually have, excluding all the other stuff. All right, so that is one pair, okay? So that's how we would actually find this one out. And the next one or the last one is a high card, which is actually kind of hard to be able to count them up. Now, technically you can say, all right, so we have 52 um, cards, you know, choose five, and then minus all the different kinds that we had. So, you know, minus all the royal flushes, minus all the straight flushes, 
minus all the flushes, minus all the um, four of a kind, you know, three of a kind, full house, and so on. So we can list them all and subtract them. And then certainly we will get, you know, what is the last possibility, which means, you know, you get five cards and they're all of a different kind. And then you also have to, you know, they can't be of the same uh, suit, okay, and together because that would have been, uh, you know, maybe one of the flushes or maybe a straight or something like that. So that is one way to do that. And, you know, I've put up, um, you know, all the videos to the Royal Flush, Straight Flush, and so on. So I'll put up a link up to the playlist that includes this video as the last video, but it has all the different possibilities and how to do the combinations. So instead of doing this, which is fine, you can, you know, you can do that. Um, I'm going to do it and you know, do it in a little bit different fashion and, and it's a little bit less work. So um, let's do it, okay, in terms of counting where what we want is we want five different kinds of cards right here. Um, now we have 13, right, in a deck of 52, we have 13 different uh, kinds. So we have 13 and we're going to be choosing five of them because there are five, Right? and they have to be all different. Now, once we make the choice, okay, um, and we pick one of the kinds, so maybe twos, we know that there's four twos, but we only want one of them because we can't have two of them because that would have made, made it a pair. If we wanted three of them, that would have made it, you know, three of a kind and so on. So within here, so that's, you know, four choose one, that's for the first one. And then we would repeat that for the second one, third one, fourth one, and fifth one. Uh, because we are picking, so this is four choose one, you know, four choose one, okay, four choose one, and then finally four choose one. So there's five of these. So we have 13 choose five of different kinds. Four choose one for each, because that's a number of combinations that we can have. So this is gonna be to the power of five, because there's five of them. But the unfortunate part, now this is, this is good, but the unfortunate part is, is that um, within these, you know, because we're picking 13 choose five, um, we may run into, okay, you know, maybe a straight. So for example, you know, you could have had a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six. So that wouldn't be included in here because notice they're all different kinds, you know, so that's the five choose five. All right, and we picked just one of them, okay? But this would have been considered a straight. And moreover, if it was of the same suit, it would have been a straight flush. So flush meaning that the suit is identical. So maybe all of these, you know, were hearts. So we don't wanna count these within here, okay? So we wanna be able to subtract. So that means this just gives us all the possibilities where the different kinds are different, but now we still have to subtract. Okay, within here, we're gonna have to subtract, okay, all our straights, all right, so that we have. So we don't wanna have any straights, and now, of course, a straight also includes, um, you know, your straight flush, and then it also includes your royal flush. So that's going to be, you know, um, included in there. And then we also have to subtract all our flushes, okay, um, from these, because that is also a possibility here. Now, to get your straight and the flush, you know, I have actually, you know, done the video, you know, how do you find it? I'll put up a link up above there. All right, so now let's kind of recall, okay, so for this straight, so when you do have that, you know, so a straight just simply means that you have five cards, okay, within, and, you know, they align not necessarily of the same uh, suit. If it was the same suit, then it's uh, a straight flush, okay? But if you wanted to count all the straights, so for example, maybe, you know, a five, a six, seven, eight, and a nine. So this is a straight where they come in order and they don't have to be necessarily of the same suit. So, as I pointed out in that particular link, okay, so within here, 
well, how many straights do we have in um, you know, the 13 kinds of cards? Okay, uh, well, we have 10 choose uh, one of those particular straights where it starts with, you know, so you have an ace, two, three, four, five, so that's your first straight. Then you have a three, uh, sorry, a two, three, four, five, six, that's your second straight, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, so that would be your third one and so on. So we have actually 10 in the 13 kinds, okay, because we're dealing out five cards. Now, once you pick one of them, okay, so for each one, so let's say if it was a five, well, we have four fives, right? So we would actually do this in four choose one, so that's for the first spot, for the, that's how many fives we have, times four choose one for the sixes, okay, and so on, okay, four choose one for each of those. So how many straights do we have? We have four choose one to the five, that's the total. But um, this, of course, includes your straight uh, flush. So this will include your straight flush, which means that it also includes your royal flush. Okay, so that's something that we talked about. Um, and you can go back to that link if you like. Okay, so I'm not gonna subtract these at the moment. Um, okay, so that's just the number of straights which includes your straight flush and royal flush. And then to subtract the flushes, to get our you know, flushes, so that is five cards where they're of the same kind, okay, within here. Well, um, we have four different suits, right? So that's four, choose one of the different suits um, within. And then, okay, so within each of those uh, suits, so in terms of a flush, so that would have been times because we have th uh, 13 for each um, suit, and then we're choosing five of them, right? One, two, three, four, five, but they're just different cards. So that is the total number of flushes, but once again, um, this does include your straight flush, all right? and it includes your royal flush, royal flush. So if we have these, so if we have this and that, if we bring all of this together, so if I have, okay, so this is, so let me copy. So that is how many of these um, uh, hands of cards that we have where all the cards are of a different kind. So that's the first. So this is that. And now we would say, okay, so minus, this is gonna be minus the 10 choose one and you know four choose one to the five. Okay, and then minus four choose one <clears throat> uh, times 13 choose five. So that's the all the straights, all the flushes, but notice because we're subtracting, that means we've actually subtracted these two, two times, okay? So we have to add one of them back. So that is plus, and now, you know, so because the royal flush is included in here, this, okay, within here, so that means the straight flush, one, two, three, four, Five. So in terms of the straight flush, well, we know there's 10 choose one, okay, of them in, in every single suit. So that's four choose one. So that would have been 10 choose one times four choose one. Now you can, you know, do, do, do a little bit of algebra in here, and then you'll notice that there is, um, you know, a pattern, okay, uh, to these. Okay, so you can factor things out if you like, but this would have been actually your answer um, within. All right, so it's a lot of work, and this one it was actually really hard, if, especially if you forget, you know, that you have to still subtract from here those straights and then those flushes. And um, as you can see, you know, you have to be careful because you've subtracted it two times. All right, so that comes, um, I guess, as an end 
to our series of videos on these number of combinations and then probability is always dividing by 52 choose 5 because um, there's really nothing else. If you understood this poker series um, then you're, you're doing very well. Okay. Um, whenever I come back to these and I don't do it for a while sometimes I forget and then I have to kind of go back through the process of how to come up with them. So thanks for watching. We will see you in future videos. Bye, everybody.